you know those people in the business world, like whatever, and you meet them at a networking event and you know what books they've read. So they're talking. The way they talk is like cringe. So you know that what they've read is Simon Sinek's Start With Why. They've read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. They've read The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck because, you know, they're edgy. And also, like, they've read these handful of business books that everyone who's fucking, like, read a book ever about anything has read, but then they repeat it and they sell events and they sell themselves as gurus. And it's like you are repackaging. Like, don't buy that shit. Don't buy things from people who are just repackaging. Yes, it's convenient. This is the problem with the internet in general is that it's just I thought that it would make people smarter. It hasn't. It started to just make people think they're smarter. <laughs> I, 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 the lack of curiosity, the fact that people will not click off. I, I, this is what I said, like what I was saying before about my, um, my own personal approach, which is that when I said I'm not going to spoon feed things to people, you're smart enough. I trust you. It's why I won't fucking go become a patron, sell, blah, blah, blah. I trust that you understand what I'm saying, you value what I'm saying, you get what I'm about, and if you have the money, you will support me because you believe in what I'm trying to do and I resonate with you in some way, okay? Or you think that I'm wise or you think that what I do is a value because I also know my own value. I know that I'm somebody who commits to having original thoughts and original content and, like, you know, expert analysis, and that takes a lot of time and effort. And I know that people are sort of thirsty for that stuff. But I'm not going to tell you, you know, like these people are, what does words mean? What does that mean? Explain it to me in seven in, in seven dot points. They're the same people who just use AI. It's not, it doesn't make you smart, okay? It makes, gives you the illusion. It just feeds all of your biases. Oh, yeah, okay, well, you know, I came up with so much original IP that is obvious in retrospect because it was stolen from me and repeated so many times that uh, everyone just acts like when I say things, it's obvious. It's like, I was the fucking source of that information, dickhead, like with digital strategy, all of these things. I was a formative influencer in that in those early days. It's just that I fucking had a life and abandoned it and I don't like, I'm not motivated by fame. If anything, I hate that shit. I just need, I know what I need to do and what is necessary in order to get the stuff that I do out. Okay, it's there's a it, and it's 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 different between just wanting to be famous and being willing to spit out what it, repeat whatever garbage bo- bollocks that you can think of in order to get attention and fame and fucking you know all of that and and money and clicks. Okay, I will be fine under AI because AI can't fucking trans even transcribe me or keep up with my thoughts. But I break AI on Twitter like I have Twitter fucking they don't even bother. That's why it's like why it's tumbleweeds. Because most people are interacting with troll farms and they're being fucking, and they're just troll farms or bots or, you know, varying other forms of human cyborg unthinking fuckheads. But, like, you know, I, um, but I'm also reported and suppressed. People don't see me. I know that as a fact because I measure it. It's immeasurable things. But it's just, um, uh, and again, I can explain why, but it's just, um, but because of the fame machine, they, oh, you just need to get it. Tim Paul is more famous than you, so he must be super smart. <laughs> based. You're based. That's a base take. Cringe. Cringe. Take the L. Take the L. Why don't you take the L? That's a W. Those people, okay? That's not a thinking person. That's not a person who's worth your engagement as a grown adult. Like, I hear crystal fucking ball. Supposedly an adult in this world, supposedly, I have, she's all right. I don't fucking, people hate her and I like her and I don't fucking know what, I just go, yeah, all right, I'd listen to everyone, see what they got to say and smart enough to understand that there is no one source of information that I can outsource my thinking to. It peaks, when I, you should watch media how I watch media, which is that I watch a thing and I go, oh, that's something I hadn't, and I'll go look it up. And I'll do my own shit. And, yes, I have the luxury of time to do that because it is my thing. But it piques my interest and I go, okay, hmm, can I add to this conversation? Okay, good. Not this the hell winning. Uh, that shit. And it's like you're retarded. Like, how, why would I engage with fucking retarded people? 
Why would I do that? I'm smarter than this. Just like, but anyway, crystal ball. And it's like these things just sort of permeate upwards. And it's like, oh, take the L. It's like you're a grown adult. Why are you saying these words? And yeah, I mean, obviously they mentioned, you know, they enter the zeitgeist and all that sort of stuff. I, you know, I say things like that too, ironically or whatever. But fucking hell, do you at least, it's like, does anyone actually want to be an adult? Everyone's just in this constant state of fucking arrested development. Everyone's super immature. <laughs> I'm not going to spoon feed this stuff. I'm, I, if I say something that maybe that's the thing is that I assume that people consume media the, media the same way I do, which is that I watch a thing, someone might say something, I'll make a note and I go, oh, yeah, I'll look at that later. That's interesting. I'll learn about that. Maybe I've got something. But what, okay, that's an interesting thought. I have a finite amount of time and interest. So, you know, that list is long. And I, I but, you know, it's like I don't just like re, just passively take in whatever someone says and start repeating and regurgitating it. And so I'm not going to sit here and define things that are already defined a hundred thousand times, and I'm not going to give you a fucking list of top ten tips for fucking activism. I'm going to get you to think about things, and it may be of value, it might not be, but you can go and there's this tool available to you that you can use anytime you like. That same thing that you are watch that box that you are watching me in right now and asking me to explain things. There's a thing. On an iPhone, you can swipe upwards and you can open it and you can look it up. You can even talk to Siri and ask Siri. Go to ChatGPT and ask, hey, ChatGPT, nice weather we're having. And then they'll go, as a language AI model, I don't know weather. And then you'll go, well, thanks for that. And I'll go back to go to Bing then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have access to everything. Like, why are you asking me? I'm here to do original thinking and shit and pique your interest. I don't know why you should have to fucking, I'm not going to provide that service. If I was going to provide an as-a-service tool, it wouldn't be fucking think it because no one's doing it. It would be fucking, I'd go and work at Microsoft at Game Pass or I'd go and work at, like, Uber or I'd go and work in any of the fucking places, Adobe, and provide other things as a service. It's far easier and far less fucking bullshit and you don't get as much heat and you don't get called stupid daily by people who don't know any better and don't actually know what it's like to read a primary source ever in their lives. And it's like, fucking hell, stop outsourcing that stuff. Or you can outsource it, but shut the fuck up. You're, out, you're, you're repeating of someone else's opinion okay, is not expertise, journalists. You parroting is not better than my fucking industry experience. They, they, they're not equivalent. Your ability as an actor to read a script is not the same as having lived that thing. You're reading a script. You are paid to perform a thing. You do not know it. That's the difference between this media class of lefties for which socialism is a fucking essay and a means to an end and content rather than a real fucking economic reality and a daily grind and like a depressing fucking dystopian nightmare for most people. If you're not doing class analysis in your politics, then you're a fucking asshole. 